Hi, welcome to Under Your Heart Radio. I am your host, Isabella Caroline Boucher. Today's topic is about interviews and communication. I am also an artist, music, theater, and film. Today, I wanted to discuss communication. Last week, I had an interview on the radio. It was interesting and thought-provoking, although I feel I did not present myself correctly which can happen to many artists. It has nothing to do with the art that you are creating. It is sometimes the way um, another interview may speak with you that can throw you off guard. Off guard means that you get thrown back and forget the focus that you originally had. And it can throw you off and even your career as an artist slightly off. But you can pull back, press on the wheel, and keep going. Well, in that premise, I feel it just did not go down correctly. I was disappointed. But I began to think, why? Why? Why would I be disappointed? What was the reason for my disappointment? Now... Always follow your senses. Okay, and we all must remember, being out in the public, an interview should be taken seriously. Perhaps it was me, I thought, then I looked it up. Google can always help you. And see, I felt this is pivotal to an interview. The first question from an interviewer sets the ease to the artist or the person in any venue you may be involved in, a comfort, you know, so you feel respected, warm, and ready to go and speak. Well, I was asked, after you knew everything that I did, what do you do? And that what do you do? I started to wonder, what do I do right now? Well, to me, from my perspective, If you are the interviewer, you should know what your guest does. What do you do? Actually, I looked it up and the Huffington Post said the way to kill a conversation is to ask someone the first question. So what do you do? Already the person's pulled back, torn up, and he just does not, does not, does not, does not want an answer. Like, why would you want an answer? To me, this question is just too vague, too general, and open to too much. I answered with pardon me as it led to an uncomfortable energy. And it was true because it went down right after that. What do you do? You could do anything. I was sitting, that's what I do. But it was about the music. It was never supposed to be presented that way. In my presumption, questions should be specific as a question opens the door to many interesting interviews. The interviewer is the same in that moment in responsibility to the artist, to bring them up or bring them down. Words, words are very important. To me, it should have been an introduction, like, hi, welcome to our show, and um, it's a pleasure to have you on, so tell us a bit about your music. It's just the what do you do is just a killer, like they said um, in the Huffington Post. The way to kill a conversation. It just ends. What do you do? I'm not sure. <clears throat> and you'd start <clears throat> going like this because you're uncomfortable, wondering, do they care enough to know what I did when you gave all the information? You know, you're supposed to speak a bit about the art If it's an album coming up, talk about the album, what you feel about the album that's coming out, what you did, how it is to be a songwriter or singer, um, things. But what do you do? Go to standstill. Two, what do you do? What do you do?